We use water every day for different purposes. Water is always present in our lives, but where does it come from? Let's take a step back to recall how the hydrological cycle develops. Ocean water heated by the sun evaporates, forming clouds. Land formations and changing air temperatures force clouds to rise and cool. This triggers the release of precipitation. The water enters soil, streams, and underground aquifers. Some flow back into the ocean and some evaporate. But again, how can we know precisely where does the water comes from? To answer this question, we rely on science. There is a scientific method to identify, for instance, the source of water that is used on a manufacturing plant. This technique is based on measuring stable isotopes. Let's remember what an isotope is. These are atoms of the same chemical element, but their nuclei have a different quality of neutrons. Therefore, one is heavier than the other. To identify where the water comes from, the concentration of isotopes is measured, focusing on the heavier isotopes. The C is the baseline, since the concentration is higher there. When comparing the isotope concentration in the watershed with the concentration in the place where it is used, for example in a manufacturing plant, we can confirm where the water comes from. Performing this precise identification allows users, either if it's a business, an agro-industry or a community, to conserve the specific site within a watershed where the water they consume comes from. Hence, they may guarantee water availability for the future. WWF uses science-based tools like the isotope studies to support industries, municipalities, communities and other stakeholders to conserve the watershed they depend upon. For more information, visit wwfca.org.